I'm walking through this Merrill house. I just wanted to give you an idea, kind of the neighborhood and, and give you a better vibe for our market here. So I'm, I'm facing south here uh, and then kind of spinning around. Um, this is east, so Vista is the main thoroughfare, a couple blocks that direction, and then a block or so down this way, north is uh, Overland. And so this is the house in question. Definitely needs a little bit of work, but I'll walk you through and give you an idea. Uh, looks like the roof is pretty new, actually. Um, it, I don't know about brand new, but it, it hasn't been on there very long, so that's one thing. Um, you got some old clinker brick on the entranceway here, kind of kind of cool. And then as you walk in, um, we've got like a, a little built-in coat closet here, but you're, you're basically walking into a wall in this little entryway. And then to the left here uh, is the family room. And you can see there's some plaster damage that needs to be fixed up. I think this might be the only new window in the house. So the rest of the windows are all original, but some built-in shelves over there. You've got original hardwood floors. Um, they look really nice with a little bit of cleanup. Over here, I think that this was probably a patio at one time and someone enclosed it and made like a little sunroom, but it's, it's kind of funky. It doesn't really fit the vibe of the house. Then you've got a little nook here that would serve uh, as a dining space and you see kind of coved entryway there. And then if I face this way, I'll, I'll come back. We're going right down this hallway here um, is where bedrooms and the bathroom and it loops back around through to the kitchen. So I'll head in that direction. So coming down this way past the entryway, there's a hallway and two of the bedrooms on the right side here. So bedroom number one, got built-in closets here and just a couple windows facing the street and hardwood floors. I think these are birch. The rest of the house, a couple of the bedrooms I noticed uh, are birch and the rest of the house is oak. You can see there's a transition here. And then coming back out immediately to the right here is a second bedroom. It's about the same in size and shape. You've got your built-ins over here. And then heading back down this hall, the <laughs> at least the bones of a bathroom here. So you've got all your original built-in vanity and all that right here. And then what used to be a bathtub and shower. Uh, and then used to have the stool right here. Uh, it looks like there's mostly a, uh, a slab foundation here. I think there might be a little bit of a crawl in a couple spots, but they apparently there was some plumbing issue here that they came in and repaired and are done with that now, but it needs to be built back out. So coming back out, uh, Immediately to the right here is the last existing bedroom, which is that birch flooring again. And it's basically exactly the same in shape and size uh, to the other couple bedrooms. So coming back out here, I was hoping there would be some living space in the basement, but there's not. It's just a little root cellar. You've got your uh, water heater and some storage, and that's about it. Furnace, Furnace down probably. there. Furnace yeah. is probably down there, too. Yep. And then you've got a laundry room here, uh, a door to the backyard. I'll come back to that, but good size laundry room. It's probably 12 by six feet. And then coming back through here, you've got a pretty good size kitchen for a house of this era. There's a little nook back in here, which you'd probably have like a little breakfast bar or something like that. And then a uh, pretty good size kitchen. I mean, this whole room is probably 18 by 12. Um, and then if I come back out here, uh, you can see we're back in that living room dining space. Uh, there's definitely room here to add at least another bathroom, maybe another bedroom. But in order to do that, you would have to lose a lot of walls. So it would be a big job. Um, but getting this place rent ready in the condition it's in, I mean, it would take some cleanup. But you could, you could make it look pretty nice and cozy for something in the range of probably $15,000. If you wanted to do it up really nice and make it a nice place, you probably would be close to thirty. 35 something in that range um, but I, we'll go check out the backyard and take a peek at the garage too so you, you can get the backyard a couple ways one is back here through the laundry room and you can see through the garage here there's an entrance I don't know if that door is open let me look here it is so you've got a garage here and it leads out to the driveway and carport 
And then uh, there's, there's actually space on the side there that you could park an RV or something if you wanted as well. Um, but this, this garage was an addition at some point. You can see the window in one of the bedrooms was there. Uh, so, but the backyard, um, it's a blank slate. <laughs> so uh, no sprinkler system, no sod, no grass. So to, to get that up and running would, it'd probably cost you just for the backyard, somewhere in the range of $3,000, I would say. Uh, maybe a little bit less if you seed instead of sod. You've got your air conditioner here, which is modern. It just needs to be cleaned up. Um, and then this comes back into that sunroom over here. But yeah, this is like a, it's a very spacious covered patio. It's actually pretty nice. So you've got, this is, it's probably eight feet wide and gosh, each one of these sections is 10, 30 feet long. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, lots of space here, lots of interest. Uh, this is a, a pretty popular part of town right now. So anyhow, there's your tour.